Hey guys, today I have a Moon Swatch Mission to Neptune to unbox. Um, I know the Moon Swatch hype is kind of dead now, but the Mission to Neptune is still going for a pretty big premium over the retail price. So I happened to stumble across one in Amsterdam. It was the last one available, so I just had to buy it. Um, and I think I will make this my personal Moon Swatch and then sell all my other Moon Swatches that I have. The Neptune, if you guys didn't know, uh, has always been the most sought after one ever since they recalled them. Um, but now they have been re-released, hopefully fixing the die issue. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox it. Here it is. I have always thought the Mission in Neptune was one of the coolest looking moon swatches. Um, I do think the moon uh, is the easiest by far to uh, wear in style. I actually had bought the moon the day before I bought the Neptune. Um, but then I went to a different swatch store and they had the Neptune available. So then I ran back to get my moon and exchanged it for the Neptune. But looking back, I kind of wish I didn't. I just had bought the two swatch, the moon. I, instead, I wish I had bought two uh, swatches, both the moon and the Neptune. So I could just flip one and keep the other. But I think I'm just going to keep the Neptune now. Um, so let me just go ahead and put this on my wrist. I have a 6.5 inch wrist for reference, just in case you wanted to see how it looked. Um, one thing I don't like about the Omega Moon swatches is the strap. They're just like super cheap feeling and I think they should break in or at least they better break in. Um, but out of the box, they just feel really cheap. This one actually doesn't feel as bad. It feels a lot better than the Mission to Moon one. Um, and then they also have like this like bump that sticks out, which kind of drives me crazy. But yeah, this is the Mission to Neptune. I think it looks really good. It's a very brilliant blue color. And it's just a fun summer watch. So, yep, that's a quartz movement chronograph. Let me take this off and show you guys. One thing I will say is that this watch is basically, like, you cannot uh, fix it or anything like that. I believe there's, like, a two-year warranty, but if, like, the movement breaks down or something after the warranty, then you're pretty much screwed. If the battery runs out, it's done. Like, you cannot replace the battery on these watches, which kind of sucks in my opinion, but they're like a fun toy. So you have these like chronograph pushers, you see that it's moving. And yeah, it's like, I believe the ETA movements, I think. Definitely made by Swatch though. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this unboxing video. Just, I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these and I finally did, so I thought I would make a video. Thanks for watching.